Typically, the best source to use when restoring a film is the original negative. But in the case of Alfred Hitchcock's 1934 version of The Man Who Knew Too Much, the original negative had gone missing. So in 2002, while looking for the next best option, Criterion found a 35mm nitrate print once owned by legendary studio producer David O. Selznick, which you're seeing here. However, Selznick's print was so loaded with scratches and looked extremely grainy that we set the print aside in the hopes of finding the most original film element possible. Nearly 10 years later, we found what we were looking for. In 2011, we learned that the British Film Institute had in their vaults a 35 millimeter nitrate fine grain positive, a high quality film element that is one generation away from the negative that went through the camera shot by Hitchcock and his crew. As with many nitrate films, working with this particular element posed some major challenges, including finding a scanner system that could handle its fragile nature. From the start, we intended to use a pin-registered scanning system. As the film moves through the scanner, small metal pins register through the film's sprocket holes, ideally holding the film in place, similar to what a projector does. Right away, we could see that the picture was a knockout, but the scanner could not handle the film. This was due to badly warped edging of the film, which we learned is a result of excessive anti-scratch treatments applied over time to the film stock. With every film pass, the acetone used in the process reduces film thickness by approximately one one-thousandth of an inch, hence the warping, which is unfortunately permanent. Also, with the warped edges, there was concern about whether or not the film had shrunk, because if it had, the pins could tear the sprocket holes and rip the film. So we brought in a shrinkage expert, and sure enough, the film had shrunk too much for us to use pin registration. The scanning process came to a halt until we could find a pinless, sprocketless scanner, one that can actually move the film across the scanner without concern for exact registration, preventing any chance of tearing the film. If the image is unstable, we knew we could stabilize it using various software once converted to a digital format. So we waited for almost a year, and it was well worth the wait. In 2011, the BFI were up and running with their new ARRI scanning system, with various options that allowed us to scan this aged film in different ways. Using their pinless, sprocketless setup, the first test we did was a direct scan from the fine grain nitrate, and we were extremely happy with the results. The images looked great. In addition to this, the BFI thought it would be a good idea to print a wet gate dupe negative on a small section to see how it could improve the warping or any scratches or abnormalities that were left on the film, such as dirt or mold. This wet gate system is the most commonly used when printing film and can be used in the scanning process as well. Running the film through a gate immersed in water, the original nitrate fine grain, which is a positive film element, is duplicated onto another piece of film, creating a negative image. A benefit to the wet gate is that in the duplication process, many scratches and dirt are removed. Seeing them side by side, as shown here, we felt that the direct scan of the original nitrate fine grain was the best route to take. When scanned dry, it proved that there were very few scratches to begin with, and any removal of dirt and scratches could be completed later using various restoration processes. In addition, we always prefer the idea of presenting a new restoration that began only one generation away from the original camera negatives for better resolution. So here we have the first generation raw scans in 2K resolution image, which have not been graded or restored. As you can see, there is far less damage here than in the Selznick print, but still a good amount of dirt and minor scratches, and the image jumps around within the frame. We employed various restoration techniques to remove nearly all the scratches and dirt, stabilize the image, and return the film to an image quality inherent in the original nitrate fine grain when it was originally made. Sounds like it went off all right. I hope so, for all our sakes.